Nobody respects women more than Donald Trump. That I can tell you. Nobody. Nobody. She gets out and she starts asking me all sorts of ridiculous questions. And, you know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes. Uh, blood coming out of her wherever. Donald Trump said the following about you, quote, look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? Can you imagine that, the face of our next president? Mr. Trump later said he was talking about your persona, not your appearance. Please feel free to respond what you think about his persona. <laughs> you know, it's interesting to me, Mr. Trump said that he heard Mr. Bush very clearly and what Mr. Bush said. I think women all over this country heard very clearly what Mr. Trump said. She's going to beat Obama. I don't know who'd be worse. I don't know. How does it get worse? But she was going to beat, she was favored to win, and she got schlonged. She lost. What used to be considered a great tactic. Seventy percent of that vote of Jeb Bush endorsing our campaign this morning. You know, the courageous conservatives in the room this morning probably know by now that most of the things that Donald Trump says have no basis in reality. So we are um, not worried in the least for focusing on our campaign. Uh, it's Pocahontas, Elizabeth Warren. Is it offensive? You tell me. Oh, oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Pocahontas. And Pocahontas is not happy. She's not happy. She's the worst. Pocahontas, it's Pocahontas. I said, I'd like to apologize to Pocahontas. Isn't at least owning that that's, uh, that's what occurred. said she doesn't look presidential. I really do believe that. Well, yes. What do you mean by that? Well, I just don't think she has a presidential look. Upside down. So you've right. got the um, Republican cozying up to the evil empire and the Democrat right. cozying up to Goldman Sachs. Well, you've got a Democrat as the Republican nominee. Somebody who's been very vicious to me, Rosie O'Donnell, I said very tough things to her, and I think everybody would agree that she deserves it and nobody feels sorry for her. Take a look. You take a look. Look at her. Look at her words. You tell me what you think. I don't think so. I don't think so. I was sitting with him on an airplane, and he went after me on the plane. Yeah, I'm going to go after Believe me, she would not be my first choice, that I can tell you. Man. My Social Security payroll contribution will go up, as will Donald's, assuming he can't figure out how to get out of it. Uh, but what we want to do is to replenish the Social Such a Security nasty Trust woman. Fund. The events never happened. Never. All of these liars will be sued after the election is over. You'll have plenty of those Democrats coming over, and you're going to say, no, sir, no, thank you. No, ma'am, perhaps, ma'am. It may be Pocahontas. Remember that. How do you overcome that when someone like Senator Warren, literally, Elizabeth Warren, literally says people are going to die because of President Trump's health care bill? Well, I actually think she's a hopeless case. I call her Pocahontas, and that's an insult to Pocahontas. We have all of this beautiful Irish press. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from RT News. The RT News. Oh, okay. Katrina Perry. Katrina Perry. She has a nice smile on her face, so I bet she treats you well. <laughs>
and I just walked out away from him and I and I walked out and I just wanted to find